Welcome to Shorty Supercoach, and what a bizarre state of affairs we find ourselves in. I woke up this morning, sunny Saturday, and for a split second I thought, what a great day for footy it is. But of course, there'll be no footy, there won't be much of anything for some time. And we've all got to play our part to get through this and, and do what the government is instructing us. But it is difficult, and I just wanted to do a little podcast to update a few things with the channel and just express a few views and at the very least maybe give you 10 to 30 minutes of something to have a listen to on what is a pretty boring weekend. Um, it's a bit rich of us to maybe complain that it's a boring weekend when there's a hell of a lot bigger things going on in the world and it's an enormous thing that's struck globally and obviously there's the, I guess, survival element but it's also the financial crisis that I think will probably hit the majority of people harder. I think there'll be some people that, you know, unfortunately feel the loss um, around the world, but from a financial point of view, it's, it's going to hurt many and, and the impact will be felt strongly. But I just wanted to discuss firstly with my channel and sort of, it's amazing to think that it was only a couple of weeks ago that we were still heavily discussing who to be at F3 and which players may break out and I was revealing league codes. We did have an inkling that there would be cancellation of matches, but there certainly wasn't the degree, certainly a month ago, that we thought we'd be in this sort of situation. I mean, I remember discussing ways I could introduce new things to the season. I was going to do a Q&A and, and, you know, we've obviously brought in the video element this year as well. And, and this pre-season has been massive. I mean, it's been massive for Shorty Supercoach. To put it in perspective, in uh, last pre-season, I did 46 videos over the pre-season. And, and to marry it up into the comparison of this year, I did 79. So, I certainly was smashing it and certainly to just draw close on the season was was crazy and, and it was a bizarre, bizarre weekend with no crowds. I think it just underlined how important the crowd and the atmosphere of hearing the yell of ball and the crowd roaring as the goal gets kicked by one of our favourite players, I think. It was hard to equate that difference, but we saw it without the crowd and we realised just how important each and every one of us is to the game. So in terms of my channel, obviously we go on hold. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm a bit lost without footy and a bit lost without sport and, and even more so lost without being able to see my mates. And I know today I'm going over the old mans and watch a few races and, and that sort of thing. But Otherwise, if I didn't have the races on, I've got no idea what I'd be doing. And I know that we've got a, it is going to suck and it's going to suck for everyone. And there's opportunities to get invested into little things around the house and fitness and little hobbies and maybe find things that we can do that we would have otherwise put on the back burner because, you know, in quotation marks, we didn't have time. But it certainly is difficult. And I hope you guys are all going reasonably well through it. And I hope, you know, you still working um, because I know a lot of people that have been hit hard by that and I listen to the radio every day thankfully I am still working but I listen to the radio every day and you hear a lot of people that are, are struggling and not just struggling maybe this week but in terms of responding it's just a massive massive trouble for them at this time but the overriding message I wanted to get through this video is to be responsible and I know everything has moved really quick, but I'm hoping that as a collective we can find ways to stay occupied and engaged at home and find ways to stay sane, really. Um, I know I've been pumping out some footy replays, watching a few DVDs, and it was great to have, from a Cats point of view, I know we lost the game against the Saints, but what a ripping game it was. They showed that on Friday night against St Kilda when they met each other I think they were 13 and 0 or something like that both sides which we'll probably won't see for some time and I was at the game and it was it was fantastic to sort of reminisce 
and get some sort of taste of footy. But we'll be missing it. We'll be missing it deeply. And as I've sort of stressed already, there are far bigger things going on than just missing out on the football each week. But it is a massive part of our lives. And if you watch this channel, you know, football and super coach is a pretty big part of your life. It's a passion and we all need passions in our lives. So like I said, it's going to be a pretty tough time over the next short period. Well, I say short, but it could be three weeks. It could be three months. Your guess is as good as mine. We're just doing what we're told. But um, so I just wanted to make sure that you know, my standpoint was of that, that we do have to sort of respect the authority. And I haven't always, you know, been up to speed on exactly how serious it is. You know how serious it is, but in terms of what you have to change in your day-to-day -day life, sometimes it just does take watching the news or hearing a press conference to really understand the significance. So I think we're all coming to grips at different rates of time and, and uh, you know, get on the phone to your mate, get on Skype or FaceTime or whatever you do. So that's probably from the life point of view I wanted to sort of discuss. But in terms of the channel and that, there's not really too much I can do because obviously Supercoach content is what I'm about. So I thought throughout this period, I, I will certainly play around with a few different things I can do. Obviously, there'll be this video, but I do want to go live and do a bit of that stuff and obviously there were, you know, the uncertainty surrounding the lead up to round one and whether it be footy on or not. I was going to go live and answer your questions, but it just didn't make sense because how could I answer anything with any degree of certainty when there was so much up in the air and so much, you know, that was cloudy and unclear about football. So I thought, Supercoach is on the back burner, football's on the back burner, who knows if we'll get it back this year, who knows when, who knows what. We barely know how we're going to spend our days throughout the week and the weekend, let alone footy in the coming months. So I am thinking that I still would like to go live, but on a totally different angle, you know, more of like a, almost like a radio thing, you know, just, I think I'll do video, but you know, we won't be talking super coach. I know it's shorty super coach, but I just would like to maybe talk footy, a few topics, and, and maybe we'll talk some absolute random topics. We'll just pass the time because I think this is only going to get tougher. And I think the biggest struggle and something that I'm sort of, you know, dreading a little bit is staying occupied and that well being. And I, you know, I know it's only a small audience that I voice to, but some people really enjoy the channel. So I guess from my point of view, if I can go live for 30 minutes, for an hour, there's an hour or so of my time that I can delegate to that and structure my day around a little bit. And for you guys out there, hopefully it's an hour or so that you can engage with the channel, discuss a little bit of footy, say what's in your mind. And it's just another thing that maybe you can put into your day because I'll tell you what, I'm drawing upon podcasts, footy replays, all sorts of stuff. You know, I rearranged my room yesterday. I haven't done that for bloody years. But there's going to be a lot of things that we have to draw upon. And yeah, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and say a dead set time and day when I'll do this. But I think as activities dry up and we start to really, you know, restrictions probably get a bit tighter. I think this could be a good outlet, certainly for myself, to have something to still contribute to the channel and give myself a little bit of structure and something to work towards. But also, hopefully, you guys, you can just tag this on your to-do list and, oh, yeah, I'll, you know, it's another Tuesday night of not really having a great deal to do and I can't go here, I can't go to footy training, there's nothing on. You know, I'll just throw Shorty on for a little bit and, you know, hopefully we can have a little chat, you know, engage and interact when I am live and once the live element is done it'll still get posted and people can re-watch it so I'm not going to sit here and set an actual time but um, maybe when I get closer to when I exactly know I will do just a little video but if not I might just go bang and just smash it out and, and the audience will form itself but yeah that's sort of something that I'd like to do and um, be a good little experience for me as well sort of going live sort of replicates a bit of radio, which I'm really passionate about. So yeah, that's just what I wanted to touch on today. Um, 
but yeah, stay positive, stay safe. You know, most of my audience is pretty young, so we're not going to be affected by, in terms of our health, is not going to be affected by this, but you still can affect, you know, your older people in society, you know, whether that's at the supermarket or to your nan, you know, you still can affect people. So I know some people like to rebel on that sort of thing, but look, just, just play your part, try and be selfless and you know, I, I know it's difficult. I, I've been struggling with it too because I, I'm not one to sit at home. I like to go for a drive. I think I probably will still go for a drive because you got to get out and about um, without interacting with people. But you know, I like to go kick the footy, play tennis, catch up with my mates. You know, normally it's a Saturday night. Normally I'll probably still be watching the races. But you know, I'll be I'll be rallying the troops, getting ready for a couple of beverages tonight. Head out to the Geelong Hotel you know, cut a few shapes on the dance floor, but, you know, can't do that, gonna have to find other ways to go about it, but look, let's try and end on a positive note, Shorty's just uh, filming this at about 20 past one, I'm just about to get my laptop and upload it, so I'd, I'm hoping it'll be ready by round three, so let's try and pick a couple of winners if you're into the races i'm not saying bet big bucks but hey there's not much else to do and i'm a bit of your two dollars each way sort of man i i don't really put much more than five bucks on a horse i just like to watch them and i like to be behind a horse even if i don't have a hundred bucks on it i still get excited if i've got like if i win eighteen dollars but let's have a look at what we got here so let's just uh follow it along in race two i just I'm actually coming off a winner. I had Beautiful Flyer. Race five at Bendigo. I'm just betting on Bendigo at the moment. Uh, what do we got? Race five is at 250. Probably won't have it up by then, but I'm on Royal Crown for the win. Coin collected a place. I like Fabric in race six. Used me a little uh, power play on that one. Really bumped that one up. And what did I put on? Put on a massive four dollars fifty so i should be right to retire after that what else do i have i'll race nine i've i've gone absolutely bonkers guys nine bucks that's a big bet for shorty i'd <laughs> not too often i go past the five dollars like i said but big night out i'm not having one of those tonight but hopefully the name can still have me a decent saturday i'll put nine bucks on him about two dollars ten it's my biggest bet for the day there's the same race multi and uh, same race multi on oh, race seven. I'm on Vegas Jewel and I do like very elegant at Rose Hill. That's pretty short, but whatever race that is. So anyway, that's a bit of fun. Shorty's been getting around the races. There's not much other sport on. So if you're a racing fan, get around it. If you're not, hopefully you're smashing out a podcast or something. Ordinarily speaking, Nearly Meadows new podcast. I love that. If you're into cricket, really good chat with Glenn Maxwell. Um, I can't remember the one that Damien Barrett does, um, but that's really good. Um, my mate Tyson put me onto that. He had a chat to Chris Scott and Steve Johnson. Stevie J's one in particular is really good. I love the Howie games, um, and I'm a Kate Tim and Marty fan on Nova 100 just to lighten it right up. So I've been smashing out those sort of podcasts. So. You know, if you've got any good sport podcasts for me as well, I can't wait to get a bit of a free trial on Amazon Live and watch the test. That's going to be amazing viewing. Um, but otherwise, if you've got any suggestions for sporting documentaries or anything for Shorty to keep my mind active, let me know. But um, I'll stay tuned. Hopefully we'll chat soon enough and enjoy the day as much as you can. And we'll be back. Cheers.